Hey, what's up? My name is Cameron Penner, and welcome to a great new Game Maker tutorial. Today, I'm going to be expanding a bit on the platformer idea because a guy asked me a question. His name is Sky Falco 43. I don't think that's actually his name, but uh, that's what he calls himself. Anyways, he asked me about what do I do if, say, I have an animation that is longer than two images for a platformer game. See, in my platformer tutorial, I only had two images, and one of them happened to be him standing. So I could use that, but in this case, it doesn't quite, it's not quite as simple as my other tutorial. So I'm just going to be putting up a new one. To expand on that, I'm going to add this whole nice fancy animation into it, and uh, let's just get started. Um, so here we have pretty much the exact same thing as I showed you with the platform, my first platformer tutorial, uh, except all I've done is changed the sprite. This sprite is now longer, and uh, I also added in a new sprite of him just standing, which also happens to be animated, for some of those who might want that. And I also added a jumping uh, sprite. That one's not animated. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to change the sprite to one that has lots of images. And here's a few things that we're going to have to change to make this work better. Now for me, I'm going to take the image speed and I'm going to put it up a lot because, quite frankly, it doesn't work if it's going slow. Uh, a few other things we might want to change is when you press the key, then we'll set the sprite to guy and we're going to call this um, run. Perfect. We're going to change the sprite to run, we're going to set the image speed to 1 and sub image to negative 1. Now we can take this and delete it. We're going to also copy that and paste that up here in the moving right. We're going to take this image speed and take that out. Now we are also going to for the key release, we want to set the variable uh, sprite, well, not the variable, we want to change the sprite to stand. And we can keep the image speed 1, or if you want, you can set it to 0 if it's only one frame long. But in this case, we're going to set the sub image to negative 1 and the speed of the animation to 1. And we're going to copy that and put it in the key release right. Now this should work. And if it doesn't, I'm going to feel like a fool, but we're just going to try that. There we go. That looks, that looks pretty decent. Now, one thing is, when I started up the program, it, uh, he just kind of cycled through the running all in one spot. So what we're going to have to do is when we're going to set his original image to sprite stand, and that should fix that. <sighs> There we go, that's beautiful. Now, um, one thing some people want is when their guy jumps, they don't want him doing the moonwalk in the air. That looks funny. So what we're going to do is add an event, step event, and step. Control, if there is a free space below you, y, 1, x, 0, relative. Uh, only solid. If there's an empty space below you, we want to set the sprite to jump. And set sub and whatever speed to zero. If it's if it's an animated jumping thing, which I rarely do, uh, you can just set sub image to negative one and speed to one. But we're not going to be doing that here. Um, this will uh, kind of work, except for now, if while you're moving and you jump, that's really cool, but if, say for example, you're moving and then you jump, now when you stop, he stays jumping. We don't want that, so we're going to add a collision with the wall, set the sprite to stand, sub image, negative one, speed one. Now this, I think, should work. If it doesn't, 
I'm going to have to go in and fix some more stuff. Once again, feel like a fool. But, uh, oh, that worked fairly well. Hey, uh, one more thing. For your object guy, um, you're going to want to add a mask because uh, while, while I was testing, I encountered some errors. And they should, see if I can find one. Um, it'll look something like this, where you get stuck on a corner and he's moving and it just does not look pleasant. Uh, here's one way to fix that. If you take your object and you make, and you take your main, the main sprite that you use, check the average size of it and then make another sprite that's about the same size, maybe a little bit skinnier, and call it the mask and just make it a rectangle. This, if you set it, if you set the mask for the guy to this rectangle, it'll solve that problem. And I'd already finished, um, finished filming this tutorial, and I started editing it, and then I realized I was missing something. And now you shouldn't ever come across that again. But, uh, anyways, that, that should solve all your problems. <laughs> well, not all of them but all the problems with guys getting stuck on corners when running, when falling. Anyways, uh, if you have any other questions, you can just ask me, send me a message or a comment, and I'll try to help you out. If you have any other ideas for tutorials, let me know. Till then, that comes to the end of my... Oh, wait a second. Bugs Bunny, what's this doing here? Anyways, uh, what a great show. Let's turn up the volume. That was for my mom. Uh, that comes to the end of my tutorial. I hope you learned something. Uh, have a nice day. Goodbye.